Annabelle says hi. Hi, Annabelle. Okay, it's recording now. So if you guys haven't done so yet, you want to make sure you put your name on the bottom right here of your art workbook. If you wanted to decorate it, you could. I saw a lot of people like Noel, uh, Emily Moyles, and like some other people that were decorating it, which is great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up to the first page. Okay, here we go. Move my stuff away. So this one is the elements of art. This one is a basic page that most grades have done so far. Third grade has done it. Second grade has done it. So we don't have to go over it real, real thoroughly. We can just go over it really quick. So the elements of art is a poster that's in the behind my room that we normally go over every single year. There is line, shape, color, texture, space, and value. So if you do have this packet, you are going to be using this side right here. If you do not have the packet, you will be using a blank sheet of paper like this. So for me, um, I did do this with the other grade already. So it looks like this on a blank sheet of paper. So we're going to basically do this inside the packet. So again, if you don't have the packet, just do it on a blank sheet of paper. I'm going to do it directly on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pencil, or no, I'm going to take a marker instead. I'm going to divide this up so it has the elements of art. So here we go. So you guys can copy me if you'd like. Line, divide it up. Shape, divide it up. Color, divide it up. Texture, and you're going to keep going until you fill the whole page. I'm going to go like this for the last one. Space and value. All right, there we go. So I'm going to wait a couple more seconds just in case I went too fast. Probably did. And again, we're going to be doing something along the lines of this. It will be super easy. Okay, super, super easy. All right, so here we go. Line. Line, you guys have talked about before. We are just going to make different types of lines. We have straight lines. We have wavy lines. We have zigzags. And we have loop-de-loops and any other type of lines you guys can think of. Shapes, you guys know different types of shapes. I'm just going to go over it real quick. Shapes can include square, circle, triangles, rectangles, ovals, stuff like that. See, super easy worksheet. All right, color. I can just color anything I want, but I'm going to make it more interesting. Maybe I'll make it into an equation. This plus this equals this. All right, let's see what I can do to make it more fun. Maybe I'll put an orange over here. Maybe I'll put a yellow over here. And then you guys probably know, definitely know what the next color is. If I can find it. Is this it? No, that's not it. I think it's this one. Yeah, close enough. Red plus yellow equals orange. Ta-da! Easy, easy stuff. Okay. Fourth one, texture. Texture, it's, it's hard to draw, but if you look at the examples over here, they have examples for smooth, rough, hard, soft, bumpy, jagged, or woven. If you want to copy any of those, you can to here. Uh, for me, I'm just going to draw in pencil. So for soft, maybe I'll just draw a fluffy cloud. For jagged, I'll just draw triangles like this. Super simple. Uh, for space, it gives you examples, smaller in the distance, uh, filled the paper, shows perspective or overlapping shapes. To save time, I'll do something super easy, basically overlapping shapes. So the triangles over the rectangle, and then they're all over the circle. Super simple. All right. Next one, value. Value, I'm going to create a rectangle. And basically what value is, it's the ranging from light to dark. So I'm going to pick a random color. I'm going to pick, let's see, this color maybe? Green. And I'm going to try do my best to go from light to dark using a crayon or anything that you have readily. You can use it in pencil too. So I'm going to go from dark, pressing hard, pressing lighter and then all the way to barely pressing the crayon down. There, value, easy. All right, I'm gonna clean up a tad bit of my area. I have crayons everywhere. I did go kind of fast, but that's because 
it's a very short class. Yeah, it's already it's already twelve fifty three. I will have you guys until one o'clock. All right, there we go. So if you are ahead, then great. If you are a tad bit behind, say for instance you're only at shape or you're only at color, that's fine. I'm gonna move on anyways because I don't want to waste your time. Okay. Don't worry about the pumpkin I just drew over here. That was from the last class. And again, you can always use a blank sheet of paper and you can always print this out later. I will have a principal version of this packet later on. Okay, so normally from kindergarten through third grade, we always talk about the elements of art. However, when it comes to fourth and fifth grade, we move on to some harder, harder um, things such as the principles of design. You probably know a couple of them. Some of them are a little more technical than the other ones. So over here, here are the principles of design. There are pattern, emphasis, variety, unity and balance, rhythm and movement, and proportion. Pattern, we already know already, which is basically the repetition of the elements of art, such as shape, line, color, and so on. Emphasis. Emphasis means the focus or the main idea and what grabs your attention. So say for instance, if it's like the picture of Chicago and like you see the Sears or Willis Tower mainly, that's the main focus, right? Or if you see a picture of Paris, France, and it's a picture of the Eiffel Tower, the Eiffel Tower would be the emphasis. All right, the next one is variety. It's basically meaning an assortment of lines, shapes, colors, and other elements of art in the artwork. So basically everything. Unity and balance means how the elements of art work together to fit together and so it looks more complete that's a little more hard to hard to understand we talk about that more in fifth grade and then over here we have rhythm and movement a regular repetition of the elements of art to create a sense of rhythm and or movement another uh principle of design that we normally talk about in fifth grade and proportion proportions basically how parts fit together to make a whole so again um if we Turn the pages from the front. So from the front of the packet, we did this part. And then the back of the elements of our packet, we have this one. Basically, all you're going to do is pick one of these principles of design. I picked proportion. And I basically just did my version of proportions. Basically, the leaves are the correct size to what the pumpkin is. And the vine is the correct size of what the pumpkin is. And so on. That's the only reason why I chose proportion. So if you want to choose pattern, draw a pattern. If you choose variety, make it crazy. <laughs> uh, if you choose proportion, you can do like your self-portrait. You could do something I did. It's up to you. All right, with that said, I'm going to flip my camera around and I'm gonna ask the simple question of if anyone did any new artwork or did not get a chance to share last week, if they wanna share with me now, all you gotta do is raise your hand and you guys can show the group what you've done. All right, I'm gonna pick Kellen. Um, I made the ice cream. Sure, you want to show us? Oh, good deal. I like the top part. There's anyone on camera. Hey. Right, anyone else want to share? It doesn't have to be from art either. I'm going to pick Sri Um, I did something, um... Oh, wow. Is that a painting? Yeah, I used oil pastels on a canvas. Oh, wow. Nice. I'm going to pick, what time is it? It's 12.57. I'm going to pick uh, Charlie. I see his hand up. So um, one year ago, I made my brother a pretty basic volcano. I made the ocean. I made the land. I even yeah. made some clouds. Oh. What? Is that clay? Yeah. I even oh. made some black rocks. That's awesome. That's really cool. It reminds me of uh, that Zelda game, Link Awakening, kind of. <clears throat> um, I think Breath we have of the wild? one more, unfortunately, because I'm looking at the time. It's only 12, it's 12.58. And i got to get to fifth grade soon. Lucas, Lucas has something. 
Uh, I did the ice cream picture. Nice. Good job. Mr. Mill, can I hear you real quick? Uh, I don't know who's talking right now. <laughs> it's me, Kennedy. Uh, sure, real quick, and then we gotta get going. So, I actually made a beach. Whoa, that's pretty cool. I like how you use two different colors for the sky, I think. Oh, no, sky and ocean. Never mind. Two different colors. Good job. Okay, so time now is 12.58. I can't be late for my fifth grade class, so I'm going to sign off. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, bye. 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 bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Guys, log off. Camille and Charlie, log off. I think he's frozen, but he should still be able to exit. There he goes. Camille, you're, there you go. Oh.